Here at Chrome Unboxed, we spend a lot of time reviewing and unboxing devices. We spend a lot of time with different Chromebooks. I specifically spend a lot of time jumping between one Chromebook to the next in order to formulate an opinion, to be able to give you a review and say, this is good, this is bad, you should buy this, you should skip this, all that kind of stuff. And while we talk about software and tips and tricks and those kind of things as well, one thing I've realized I don't spend a lot of time talking to you all about is what it is that's in my bag between all of those times. So when I'm not reviewing a device to tell you whether it's good or not, what do I go to? What do I prefer? And surprisingly, that Chromebook actually doesn't change out that frequently. And I've only had a few Chromebooks that actually live in my bag between reviews. And those have mostly been Google devices up until just about a month ago. One of the main reasons they've always been Google devices is the fact that those Chromebooks, so I'm talking like Pixelbook, and eh, not the Pixel Slate so much, uh, but the Pixelbook Go as well, just deliver this really nice overall Chrome OS experience. And at the end of the day, there's new stuff that shows up with different Chromebooks and those things are exciting and I like them and it may be a flashy screen or a fingerprint scanner or some sort of pen input or whatever that it's fun to get excited about for a little bit. But when it comes down to having to put my hands on the device and get work done every single day, like in the middle of that grind, I just tended to like Google's devices better. I liked what they offered from a holistic package and what it just felt like to use those devices on a day-to-day -day basis. However, that has changed. And while we're still waiting and wondering whether or not Google's gonna give us a new Pixelbook device of any sort this year or even next year, there's a device that's come along that has really just captured my attention and has been one that I want to go back to over and over again. And it's the Acer Chromebook Spin 713. And there's a few reasons why. We've done a review on this device. We've already spent time going through all the bits and pieces. That's not what we're doing here and I don't want to do that here. This is more of, hey, here's what it is about this device that delivers an experience that is worth me going back to regardless of how many devices I review. So what is it that makes for a good experience that I'm gonna go back to over and over again? Well, for me, it starts on the 713 with the screen. There's something about a three by two aspect ratio screen. It's made me love devices like the Samsung Chromebook Pro, the HP X2, the Pixelbook, the Pixel Slate, and I wished I had it on the Pixelbook Go. I just like it for web content. I like the extra height on the screen and overall it just makes the device feel like I've got a larger surface to work with because ultimately when you measure diagonally, if you get a more square aspect ratio on your screen, you do actually get more inches to work with on the screen as far as real estate goes. And so the 13.5 inch three by two high res display that comes with the 713, it's just awesome. It's bright, it's vibrant, it has awesome viewing angles. I feel like I've got so much space to work from, whether I'm in my lap, at a table, or at the desk, and it is versatile, comfortable to use, and I absolutely love that part of this Chromebook. Second up, and I harp on this all the time, the input methods on the device have to be solid. They don't have to be the absolute best I've ever used, they just need to be solid. I need to not think about, oh God, that keyboard, I miss this key all the time, or I screw up this, that, or the other, or I can't see it in the dark because it's not backlit. And with the trackpad, it doesn't need to be flopping around all over the place and it needs to stay smooth and just work the way it's supposed to. And both of those things are true with the 713. Again, they were true with Google's Pixelbooks, Pixelbook Go, Pixel Slate and all that stuff. And it's part of what attracted me back to them because it's the core pieces that make for a great Chrome OS experience. Because when you get the screen looking awesome and your input methods working really well, you've got the makings of just a great Chrome OS experience. Finally, I think performance is probably just as important maybe not quite as important as like the keyboard trackpad and screen, but, but really, really close because ultimately you don't want a device that's slow and feels sluggish or that you have to worry about whether or not it's going to run this particular Linux app, or if I can try this on it or do that on it. I just, I just need it to perform. And the 10th gen Core i5 that comes in this device, the 713, paired up with eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of NVMe storage, I mean, absolutely flies. And it does so without costing you over $1,000. It's 630 bucks MSRP, it's $530 right now as we're filming this. It's been on sale twice already. And so I think this is gonna be a five to $600 Chromebook that performs like a $1,000 Chromebook, has that beautiful screen, has a great keyboard and trackpad combo, an all aluminum build. I haven't even talked about the fact that, you know, it's mil spec, that's just an added bonus. I don't have to worry about the fact that it's in my bag and I'm taking it out. It could get beat up, it can take a beating and it costs way less than what it feels like it should. And all of that stuff just kind of comes together to keep drawing me back to this particular Chromebook. While 
The Google made Chromebooks, I think, pulled me in because of their design aesthetic and the way that they literally felt under the hand. The 713 pulls me in because it's a device I don't have to worry about. I don't have to think about when I pull it in and out of my bag. I don't have to think about it when I leave it out at the house, whether or not the kids might knock it off the couch or something. And I don't have to think that I've invested $1,200 into this premium Chromebook. I've put $530 into this device. And while I don't want to lose that money, I don't have to worry about it because it's mil spec rated and it brings to the table all the stuff I want. Great performance, great keyboard, great trackpad and a great screen and a metal body. And I just think Acer has done such an awesome job with this Chromebook, putting together the right pieces at the right time at the right price to make a Chromebook that for me, has become absolutely my everyday carry. And for the foreseeable future, it's probably gonna be the one that I keep picking up and putting in my bag whenever all the reviews are done and all the dust settles. But guys, that's it for this one. We just wanted to share that with you real quick. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. Make sure and hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. And don't forget to hit that join button to see all the cool stuff that our members get like behind the scenes footage and custom emoji. Till next time, we'll see you.